Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Cohorse. Howdy. And today we are tasting something uh, new that uh, I got sent to me by the distiller. Uh, this is the Leaper's Fork Single Barrel Rye. I will say on this one, it's it's uh, good to know Mike Veach. <laughs> <laughs> my dad has been calling these guys and asking about this release for a while. He, you know, he lives in Tennessee. Um, sold out in two hours. Yeah. So he did, he did not get he did he not get, get a bottle. He didn't get one. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. He should see. He, you need to tell your dad when he wants one of these. He needs to camp out the day before at the distillery. <laughs> It's like Christmas, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 But uh, Lee Kennedy was kind enough to send me a bottle. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, I love everything that he's done. He is a real talented distiller. This is a, uh, this barrel of fine rye whiskey was especially selected for the distillery exclusive. It's 55% rye, 30% corn, 15% malted barley. It um, has a barrel entry proof of 110, mm -hmm. and it's come out at uh, uh, 107.8. It's five years, nine months old. This is bottle 150 of 164. And of course, it's, you know, new American oak, and... Uh, and that's about all you need to know, uh, other than the fact that it is got the uh, uh, distiller on the back here is DSP Tennessee 21034. So that's their DSP number in Tennessee. And this is barrel number 26. All right. So. Oh, we've always liked the Leaper's Fork stuff. Right. It, yeah, it's always been good. Is this their first rye they've put out? Yes, it is the first yeah. rye that they put out that I'm aware of. I hope it's not going to be the last either, because this is really good. I'm going to get myself a little bit more of this. <laughs> oh. But, yeah, I love, love their bottle. It would have been nice if they put a screw cap on it, but, you know. <laughs> but with this, I doubt if it, it, I need to worry about keeping it too long, because I got a feeling that we're going to drink this. It's probably not going to last that long, right? Yeah. Oh, God. You know what this I reminds this me of? It reminds me of uh, uh, one of those molasses cookies that we had the other day, uh, the Archway molasses cookies. Oh, I mean, man. it's got that. Got that ryegrass, of course, but mm -hmm. you got that sweet caramel molasses flavor. You got a little bit of baking spice. Yeah. It, yeah. You get a little bit of a fruit in there, probably, what do you think, plums, raisins? I would, yeah, I would go with plums yeah. for sure. And then you get oh, that, that oak. So nice. Yeah. God, this is just great nose. Mm-hmm. Well, let's take a sip. Oh yeah, you get that what rye grass. You're getting yeah. that dark fruit. You know that that plum, raisin. I love when a rye whiskey doesn't hide the rye. Yeah. You know, like there's a lot of rye whiskeys that come out, and you're like, well, I can I can taste it, but it's just barely there. You know, this one, it's it's. In the front, yeah. you know, it's, it's yeah, and I love that spicy rye flavor I've always had, was, mm. yeah. Is it spicy or herbal? Because yeah, you know. I'm not getting, you know, I'm getting spice, yeah. but it's not, yeah. and um, it's just really just a nice long finish mm -hmm. with, uh, um, with some oak, sweet oak, though, so not tannic, bitter tannic oak, it's, I mean... There's just enough oak in there to make it pleasant. Yeah. Then with a little bit of just a little bit of spice. Yeah. And then you get that lingering fruit. Mm hmm And even in I even get a little bit of that lingering sweet caramel too. Mm hmm Yeah. I'm getting a little bit of citrus in there too, just a hint yeah. of citrus, yeah. Like I said, it's like a, a spiced molasses cookie. Mm hmm <laughs> Yeah. It's 
it had been a while since I had, had molasses cookie, and I forgot how much I I really really love them, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and this is yeah, yeah, this is exactly what I'm looking for. So let's see what it does with the little caramel, with the cranberry, dried cranberry. Oh, it's great. Oh, wow, yeah. Make sure people can see the label. That's right, yeah. <laughs> You're going to want some of this. Yes. Um, that enhanced the spice. It did, yeah. Enhanced the spice. For me, it, it enhanced, like, vanilla and, like, brown sugar. I guess that maybe that's where that kind of yeah. molasses yeah. kind of, like, Brown sugary, I guess. Yeah. Uh, what is molasses actually like? It, well, it's if you take molasses and cook it down you, to take the water out, you get brown sugar. No, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what molasses was. There we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I'm getting, man. Like, yeah, a lot of brown sugar in there. Um, maybe a hint of like hint of oak at the finish. It's it's not not very much fruit though. It kind of yeah, take the fruit out of it. Much fruit, yeah. And it tamed the spice in that the spice is more of a baking spice, this kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. It's, I would be hard-pressed to name what baking spice it is. Yeah. But, but, I mean, there's a spiciness to it, but it's just, you know, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice maybe, something along that. Yeah, I would go with something like that, cinnamon, nutmeg, yeah. Like a little blend, like an yeah. allspice, like baking spices, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah. Let's see what the pecan does for it. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That really brings out that caramel molasses mm -hmm. then it doesn't it, it, it makes the spice definitely more like a cinnamon and nutmeg yeah definitely mm -hmm. but it doesn't overpower it you get a little bit of that fruit dried dark fruit that plum or whatever mm -hmm. but not much just enough to yeah that, that's really nice yeah I'd like to actually try that. Uh, Becca's been making this uh, fall um, old fashioned, you know, with a little bit of maple syrup and stuff like that. I think that would complement it really well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, first and foremost, I'd drink it neat. But, you know, <laughs> like, I'd like to try it there, too. You know? <laughs> yeah, they say better, better cocktails are made with better whiskey. That's right, exactly. So let's see what it. Let's see what a piece of chocolate does for it. It makes it fruity. Yeah. Yeah. And rich, like I said, like rich. Caramel. Yeah, rich caramel. A lot of that, you know, plum. Mm -hmm. Sits right here. It's yeah. really chewy. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. It makes the finish, like, go on forever. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, and that finish is nice. It's oak. It's a little bit of spice, a little bit of that lingering fruit. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, that just really... Nice, all the way around. Exceptional, yeah, that's exceptional rye there. Yeah, it's very good. Well, so, flavors. So, Lee Kennedy, you're making great whiskey. Cheers. Yeah. Yep. Cheers. 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 Cheers.